oh sweet Mickey D's, hey take a look at me, I'm dining solo, dolo. David Deleska is a spoken word artist breaking the poetry industry in Toronto. Deleska says his poetry comes from his vulnerable feelings growing up in America and being bullied due to the color of his skin. Being Haitian has a problem. I mean, now I'm dark skinned too. And being dark skinned, and, and which, which was not like, a, not accepted as much, or it wasn't, you know, it was always, always stuck out. And it's always that somebody had to make a point that I was dark skinned. It wasn't like, oh, I could walk in and be just David or whatnot, you know what I mean? Deleska says he's coped with racism as a child by writing poetry. After performing at festivals and poetry slams, Deleska decided to put his lyrical talent in print for others to enjoy. His youngest brother is his inspiration for the title, I Grew Up Right Beside You. I look at him like, you're taller than me. What the heck? When did this happen? You know what I mean? And it's like this the whole time he was growing up right beside me. You know what I mean? And that made me think about a whole, everybody's growth. Every person has went through a certain uh, situation in which they went from point A to point B. And the people that are close to them probably don't see it. They don't really realize, realize it until they look at it like, oh, wow, you did grow. You know what I mean? Like, you know, so that made me think about a lot of situations in myself where I felt that I grew and maybe people didn't necessarily see it. Deleska has worked very closely with the nonprofit organization Manifesto. It provides platforms for young people and creates a space to broaden their artistic abilities. Oh, well, Manifesto is the place as far as uh, for two or three years uh, music assistant as far as with the festival and as far as other uh, projects and whatnot. It's such a personal voice and for me since I know him and he's around I can hear him in my head as I read it um, and he's very well known throughout Toronto so I, I think having that very personal voice um, will allow other people to have conversations about similar experiences and I think that's of huge importance. Deleska has hundreds of poetry. He says narrowing down a collection of verses for his book as well as editing them to fit his theme was a long process and a challenge. I went to OCAD, worked from nine to five for three weeks on this book as far as um, thinking about the design, thinking about the, the page design, more so about the, like, the editing and everything like that. This very workspace at OCAD University is where Deleska spent hours on his book. I often feel like I'm going for a journey with him. Like his cadence of the way he speaks, the way he uh, tells stories, through his work and through his art, I feel like I myself is going on a journey while he's telling us about another journey. So I often feel like I'm time traveling almost. None of this was easy. None of it was definitely not easy. But, um, in the end, it was well worth it. For more information on Deleska's book, visit deleska.com slash store. Ariel Von Bento, Guelph Humber News.